this morning, I woke up to like four, no, three. Three notifications, grand total. Or no, actually, no, 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 four, four, four. It, it really was four. Four notifications. Two from UPS and two from PayPal. Yeah, two two from PayPal and two from UPS. The other notifications that I got from PayPal was that finally my BVS wave from McFarland Toys has finally shipped. Finally shipped. Finally, after delays, after PayPal mishaps, they're finally on their way. Guys, I'll be right back. Uh, let's just say that this coffee's kicking in. I'll be right back. <laughs> We're back. Okay, so what was I saying before I left? So I mentioned that uh, um, I'm getting all that stuff coming in. All this stuff like shipping and, and including the BVS Wave, it also prompted me to go into my uh, account page on McFarland Toy Store and check what I have on pre-order and what shipped thus far. And even though the only stuff that has thoroughly shipped and I was expecting to ship was the BVS stuff, it also made me look at the stuff that still says awaiting fulfillment. And it's quite an awful lot of pre-orders. And then I noticed that some other people on Reddit and on uh, the McFarland Toys uh, Facebook group we're saying that they too also have a bunch of stuff on pre-order and we're starting to get more and more people going to those groups and asking questions that are rather superfluous, uh, rather empty in the sense that they ask questions that you know are not going to get full-blown answers. Like, when is this shipping? When is this shipping? And I'm like, dude, you, you might as well be asking this to customer service. You know, you really think that somebody in the group is going to know unless they actively work for McFarlane and are going to whistleblow it's like come on um but it did the the fact that so many people are now starting to drop those questions that at the at the time of me seeing this i only thought was normal for reddits subreddits and facebook groups of like hot toys or one six scale collecting figures where people are like, okay, does anybody know when this is dropping? Because those windows are just so vast and so wide that nobody ever is able to gauge how, when a specific Hot Toys figure or maybe a specific in-art figure is going to be dropping, specifically in-art with the amount of problems they have shipping. But it did make me wonder, did McFarlane over-reveal in the past few months? Because I feel like with New York Comic Con, there were like certain things that maybe he had to reveal. Like I said, the King Kong Godzilla, I mean, I'm sorry, the King Kong MonsterVerse cross Batman collaboration. I don't know what the hell is up with that. Todd's mods, I don't know who that's for. And I'm getting a little nervous that McFarlane Toys may be stretching themselves a little too thin with these reveals. Because, again, I understood that the BBS wave was going to be the first to start shipping out. A lot of people are still kind of surprised to this day. That they shipped out so quickly because I'm over. They're like, oh my god, you know, they barely revealed them and they're already getting shipped out. And meanwhile, I'm like, well, they're like remasters, re releases, retools of prior existing figures. All they have to do is just dig up the blueprints and modify them. And there we go, we got them. Um, so it made sense that the BBS wave was going to be amongst the first to ship out. But it is also still a little curious that. About a month and a half prior, they announced the bundle that comes with that Batman Beyond, that Noel Batman, and that Silver Age Batman. And then around that time was also the Amazon exclusive Batman that I can't remember what his name is, but it's the one with the with the wing glider thing, the paraglider. And we have yet to see the light of day of those. Granted, we have a release window of November for that original bundle, that those three, those first two that I mentioned. But the Amazon exclusive has been, I think, indefinitely delayed and has no concrete date. And that combined with some of the upcoming reveals that we're about to talk about, as well as, like I said, the other stuff that's currently out for pre-order, like the uh, Batman and Robin Batmobile, some of the other page puncher stuff, some of the much more smaller stuff that even got announced today. I'm like, I'm really hoping that McFarlane doesn't overindulge and in that respect, they end up thinning themselves out to the point where they can't match all this. And then we have a bunch of like 
pre-order, 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 or waiting for fulfillment, or waiting for fulfillment, and, you know, all these things are charging our PayPal's, charging our cards, and yet, some of these things, I just can't imagine maybe even hitting November. Granted, what, like I said, helps in their case is the fact that these are all 7-inch figures. It's not like Hot Toys or it's not like in art where there's an awful lot of production happening within those units, within those items. Like, those require an awful lot of attention to detail and care. Whereas McFarlane Toys, it's like, well, it's a 7-inch figure. I still, you know, expect a level of quality, but at the same time, you know, apples to oranges. So, just something that I kind of wanted to think about and kind of toss out there to maybe start some form of, like, discussion or or, or dialogue. 